I am Prem Kumar, Principal Consultant and Managing Director of this company, Javin Management Systems and Solutions Private Limited. I am going to take 40 minutes of your time on the topic, Consultant Level Smart Discussion on ISO 22000-2008, Food Safety Management Systems. Yes. Just a minute. This is my small brief about. I completed BRC auditor course, BRC GS packaging and packaging material course. I'm the NBQP registered consultant for both FSMS and QMS. I want to understand about my audience. All we are industry professions from both food and non-food sectors. Majority we are in management system consultants. All we are familiar with ISO 9001-2015 standards. All we need of this session to understand, upgrade, awareness level of FSMS. Precisely, I just for 2015 Objective of this 40 minute session let us how to learn about the concept of this ISO 2018 standard. We need to get clear clarity on the standard requirements, basic approach of this food safety management system as a consultant. That is objective. I'm having this for uh, 40 minutes session. First, um, we need to talk about uh, version of ISO 2000. Recently, it is ISO 2000-2018 version. Earlier, it is ISO 2000-2005. Roughly, after two years, we are revising the standard. Uh, cutoff date for this transition is 19th June 2021. Still, people are going with 2005 version. Pres presently, all the certification bodies are insisting you to go for 2018 version. I guess for 2000, 2018 version. This standard has been developed as ISO high level structure. The objective of this high level structure is to make alignment with other ISO management system standards like 9001, 14001, 45001. Like other standards, this standard also following PDCA cycle, risk based thinking, and effective implementation as a PDC cycle. Now, coming to this food safety management system, it is a specific requirement for an, any organization in food chain. Yeah. So, in my uh, next slides, next forthcoming slides, I'm going to discuss about what is a food chain. Food chain. What are all the activities, what are all the industries going to get covered in this food chain? All we are going to discuss. So another thing is basic um, part. Another basic part as we are the consultant, we need to understand the language. GFSI, Global Food Safety Initiative. Okay. GFSI is an organization helping to regulate the food safety management system certifications. It is not the food safety certification, food safety certification, or it's a certification body. It's a regulatory or giving benchmark standard for these scheme owners. Now I'm using the language scheme owners like BRCGS, SQF, IFS, FSC 2000. All these certificates are called scheme owners. GFSI helping the 
helping these scheme owners to make benchmark compliance. Fine. Once this GFSI oriented certification is uh, <clears throat> adopted by the organization, it is helping them to easily market on global market and retail chains. Fine. Now I'm showing some of the certifications. BRC GS. SQF, Safe Quality Food, IFS, FSSC 20,000. These four standards specifically for food processing, Anur Canada Gap, Global Aquaculture Alliance, Global Gap, Asia Gap, JBSM, Primus, all these certifications called or nominated for benchmark compliance for farming activities. GFSI has 17 categories and 11 certificates. Right. So, uh, GFSI is um, give more clarity or benchmark equipment for our uh, food safety management system. So just you can uh, consider this GFSI is uh, part of your uh, knowledge purpose. Uh, it is you know, not directly aligning with the ISO 20,000 terma, but for your knowledge purpose, we are sharing this. Coming to this ISO 2000, I want to emphasize a specific word, food chain. Food safety management system, ISO 2000, covers a requirement for any organization in the food chain. It's a basic requirement to understand about this standard. What are all the industries can go for this ISO 2000? They are using a simple language, farm to fork. Okay. Farm, farming level. Four, consumer level. Two, when the organization fall between anything on farm to fork, anything between this farm to fork, they may go for this certification, ISO 2000, 2018. Some of the industries are giving us an example. Those who are going for uh, those who attend ISO 2000. Thread manufacture for tea bag production can go for ISO 2000. Gum manufacture for bottle packing. On top of the bottle, uh, <coughs> pasting the oil through gum. The gum manufacturer can go for ISO 2000. Pet bottle manufacturer can go for ISO 2000. CO2 gas manufacturer can go for ISO 2000. All kind of packaging materials can go for ISO 2000. All kind of food serving aids, utensils, spoon can go for ISO 2000. Cap manufacturer can go for ISO 2000. So we need to understand food chain. ISO 2000 covers or gives the application for the entire food chain. I can give one small example. This robot manufacturer can go for ISO 20,000. By seeing, uh, we understand that robot is, uh, this robot manufacturer is some sort of uh, automation or uh, machine manufacturer, but he is having scope of ISO 20,000. Now coming to the same uh, food chain. Uh, some of the food chain industries uh, displaying in this slide. Forming level, cold storage, poultry farming, fish feed manufacturing, packaging material, spices, vegetables, oils, and this kind of restaurants all can go for ISO 20,000. Now I want to insist you on the big thing. Pet food manufacturer can go for this ISO 20,000. It's possible. Pet food manufacturer also can go for IS for 2000, 2018 certifications. So, food chain, this food chain is having wide scope of uh, getting the certification process. Let us have clear clarity on the understanding of food, feed animal food. Food. It talks about the human consumption materials, chocolates, vegetables, fruits, all ready to products, biscuits, all coming out of food. Feed. 
single or multiple product, either processed, semi-processed or raw, which is intended to be fed for food producing animals. Poultry makes chicken for human consumption. Cattle farming makes milk for human food. So, to make or to form this kind of uh, food producing animals, some industries make feed. I give you a small example. Cattle feed and poultry feed. This is coming under feed cattle. Another thing is animal food. Specifically talks about intend to be fed to non-food producing animals. We have put food pet animals in our house, dog, dog, cat. All this not coming under the non-food producing animals, <coughs> coming under non-producing animals. For that we have a specific category of feeds. It's called animal food or pet food products. In this ISO 20000, we cover food, feed and animal food. And this is a basic requirement you need to consider uh, when we are uh, uh, implementing this standard. Another thing is ISO 20000, 2000 is, 2018 is risk-based thinking. Like other standards, ISO 9001, ISO 14001, this is also risk-based thinking. In this risk-based thinking, we need to consider about the product nature, high risk product, meat items, dairy products, vegetables, fresh fish, all are coming under high risk products. Milk pasteurization as a process, it is a risk. It is helps to remove the microbiological contamination in milk. As a process, you need to consider it as a iris product, iris process. Packaging material printers, food corner packaging materials, high hygiene products. So in this 2000 risk based thinking, you need to consider the risk level of product, process, manufacturing, etc. In this 22,000 standard, like other standard, it's also following PDCA cycle, but in two levels. But in two levels. One is for general organization planning and control. Simple management systems follows one PDCA cycle. Another is your operation planning and control follows next PDCA cycle. Precisely I can say language HACCP. Operation planning control uh, talks on uh, HACCP. In this ISO 20000, we need to implement the HACCP on PDCA cycle approach. That is the reason it's, uh, it has two level PDCA cycles. PDCA cycle in two levels. Principles of ISO 20000-2018. Like other ISO standard, customer focus, leadership, engagement of people, process approach, improvement, evidence-based decision making, relationship management is Require the principle for implementing the standard. In addition to that, interactive communication, system management, prerequisite program, hazard analysis, and critical control point principles also got included as addition. So, this are the principle you need to get followed in your ISO 2000 2018. Um, please, uh, Ping, if you are able to. Can follow me. 
please say please text me okay 